Hi boys and girls, so now we're going to do some science together. <clears throat> we started a new topic last week. Um, our topic's all about plants and growing. And before we talk about uh, seeds, which I want to talk to you about today, we're going to look at the parts of the plant and see if you can remember the names. So like we said last week, just like humans, um, our body parts do different jobs, okay? So it's just the same for plants. They, they don't have body parts, but their parts do different jobs too. Now let's see if you can remember the names of these parts. Let's do the, go through the names, and then after we'll see, we'll talk about what each part does. So this, can you remember what these are called? These are called the, you should know it, roots, okay? And this here, we've got two on this one, but on lots of plants there's only one, okay? What's this called? Oh, not that bit. <laughs> this here and this here. This is called the stem. Okay. And here we have the leaves. And lastly, this bit you already know. The flower. Yeah, these are beautiful flowers. So like I said to you last week, my favourite flowers are orchids. My favourite plant is an orchid. It's very beautiful, don't you think? Okay, good. So hopefully you were able to name all the parts of the plant. Now, I'm going to tell you the job, and you need to tell me, or you can even write it down on a whiteboard, um, which part of the plant is responsible for that job. So if I say to, said to you, um, this part of the plant makes the food for the plant using the sun, you would say, obviously, the leaves because it's the leaves that make the food for the plant. I said to you last week they can't just hop in their car, go to Monoprix and go shopping. No, they have to make, they're stuck in the ground so they have to make their own food. Okay, which part of the plant attracts insects and birds? Which part of the plant attracts insects and birds? I give you a clue, it's the most beautiful part of the plant, well what I think is the most beautiful part of the plant. It's usually very colourful. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Flower. Okay, good. Right. What part of the, which part of the plant takes in the water and keeps the plant anchored in the ground? Which part of the plant takes in the water and keeps that plant stuck in the ground? Hmm. Say it together. One, two, three. The roots. Okay, and lastly, which part of the plant transports water or takes water to the rest of the plant and also keeps the plant upright? So it's not flopping over, it's upright. One, two, three, we say it together. One, two, three, the stem. Good. Well, I'm hoping you got all of that right. The work that I had from you last week was really beautiful, by the way. Um, so very well done for that. So we do now know all the parts of the plant. Very well done. Okay, I'm just going to pop that there. So today, we are going to talk about how plants start. Now, I wonder if you know how plants start. Where do they come from? Where do they just, they just pop up like this? Or do they start as something else? Hmm, have a think now. Press pause if you need to for some thinking time. Right, so, plants, they start as what? To give you a clue, it starts with a s. Seeds. Yeah, can you see it? Seeds. All right, so plants start as seeds. Now, I've got some seeds here to show you. I'm going to hold some up to the camera right now. The seeds I've got, though, are in a packet, so I'm just going to have to open it up. Okay. And then I'm going to hold them up. They're very, very, very small. I've seen some smaller than this, mind, but if you have a look in my hand... Whoop, there you go. Here are some seeds. So plants start as seeds. Now, lots of plants grow from seeds, just like these sunflowers and poppies have grown from seeds. Have a look at these seeds. Do you know what they're going to grow into just by looking at them? Is it possible to tell? Okay, maybe you have seen them before, but it's not easy to tell what they're going to grow into. Okay, so here are the names of the seeds now, and now you're probably familiar with a few of them. 
So it's almost impossible to tell just by looking at a seed what it will grow into. Okay, and just from the name, the name obviously we associate that with a plant or a flower, but we need more information than that. Now, the information we can find is usually on the back of the seed packet. And this tells us where to grow the seeds, how much we need to water them, how we need to plant them. It gives us all the information we need in order to plant seeds correctly because different seeds need um, different types of care. Okay, Some need to be grown in the summer, some need to be planted in the spring. So different seeds need different care. And you can find that information usually on the back of a seed packet. I've also got a few here. I have some seeds in here and on the back it tells you how to plant them. You plant them in this little pot and how to take care of them, how often you need to water them. So again, all the information is on the back, okay? And that's going to grow into a clover and you say a treff, all right? And we say it's very good luck if you find a four-leaf clover. When I was a little girl, I used to look in the grass all the time to see if I could find one. All right, and here are some more. I got from, again, the Nature and De Couvert shop, okay? Um, it tells you when to plant the seeds, how much you need to water them, and how long it takes for them to start to grow. Okay, and that is going to grow into, um, so I'm not sure what that one's going to grow into. This one, however, is going to grow into um, a poppy. Okay, a poppy is a coquelicot. All right, and inside this part, you have the instructions on how to take care of it, how to grow it. I've got one open here for you to see. Again, the seeds are inside, and on the back of the packet, it gives you the information about how to plant them and how to grow them. We sometimes say how to sow your seed. Sow just means how to plant your seed, okay? So, super. It would be great if you, if you can, at home, even if you've only got a balcony, you can get hold of some seeds and you can start growing some plants at home too. So, plants... Um, like we said, plants start from seeds. Not all plants, we'll talk about how some of the plants start next week, um, but a lot of plants do start from seeds, and seeds are actually very important to us because they're not just important so we can grow things, they're important also because they uh, make up part of our diets. So have a look at the next few pictures, you will see how seeds are in our diets. And I bet you didn't even think about that, you know, I bet you didn't think about that we eat seeds, Okay, because a lot of the time when we eat fruit, we eat the fruit and we throw away the seed. But we actually do have seeds in our diet too. So like on bread rolls, there are often seeds on the top of bread rolls that we eat. Um, in Asia, when I was living in Thailand, a lot of the children ate sunflower seeds. It was a snack for them. You will also see often on the top of like crackers that you can eat, there's some seeds you can see sesame seeds in cooking, especially in like Asian cooking, where I come from, we use a lot of sesame seeds. So yeah, seeds are all around us, seeds are everywhere. Remember, without seeds, uh, we wouldn't have any plants, and then without plants, we wouldn't have any food to eat. Okay, we'd have meat, but we wouldn't have any um, vegetables or fruit, which is really good for us, so seeds are very important. For fun, what I would like you to do is to take some fruit um, out of your refrigerator and the sheet that I provided has a space for you to write the name of the different types of fruit. What I want you to do, you record the name of the type of fruit and then I want you to have a guess, or we say predict, how many seeds in each piece of fruit. So for example, if you took an apple, I want you to guess how many seeds are inside the apple. You might have a guess, you write down the number, then after, with the help of an adult, you'll need a knife and a chopping board, you chop open that apple, and then you can count how many um, seeds are inside. Now I want you to choose maybe three or four um, different fruit, and um, do the same thing. Guess how many seeds, and cut it open and to see how many seeds are inside, okay? Now, when we talk about fruit, we talk about anything that has a seed inside of it. So things that you might think are vegetables, like cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, these are actually fruits. So you can use these too when you are 
doing your investigation. Okay, so we're investigating seeds. We're just having a look at the different types of seeds, making a prediction about how many seeds are in each piece of fruit, and then chopping it open and counting. Okay, so that's a bit of a fun activity for you to do on seeds. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you there, and we'll talk about um, more growing and plants and plants next time. Take care.